In this tutorial, we will explore how you can back up your Google data into StoreX. But before we begin, let's take a moment to understand what StoreX is all about. In the digital era, data security and privacy have become essential, and StoreX is leading the way in addressing these concerns. StoreX offers a decentralized cloud storage platform that redefines how we store, protect, and manage our data. Unlike traditional cloud services that rely on centralized servers, StoreX empowers users with unparalleled control over their data. Now let's move on to the process. First, log in to your StoreX account. If you don't have one, you'll need to sign up. Make sure you use the same credentials you set during the signup process. Once you've logged in, you'll see the StoreX interface. On the side pane, you'll find the backup option. Click on it and you'll be redirected to the backup data to StoreX page. Here, you'll see an option to connect your Google account. Click on connect and you'll be prompted to enter a passphrase. After entering the passphrase, sign in to your Google account. You'll then be asked to verify access, click on Advanced, select StoreX.io, and grant the required permissions. Once access is granted, you'll see options to backup data from Gmail, Google Photos, or Google Drive. You can choose to backup specific data. For example, let's say we're backing up Gmail. Click on Gmail and you'll see your emails. You can either select specific emails or back up all of them. Once you've made your selection, click on Upload. The upload process may take some time, depending on the size of the data, but once it's complete, a success message will appear. To verify the upload, navigate to the Dashboard section. You'll find a vault named Gmail, which is automatically created when you back up your Google data. Enter the passphrase you used earlier, and you'll see the uploaded data. From here, you can download, share, publish, or delete the data as needed. Now let's look at backing up Google Photos. Head back to the backup section and connect to Google Photos. If you have albums in your Google Photos account, they'll be displayed here. You can select individual images or entire albums. Let's select one image and upload it. Once again, a success message will confirm the upload. To verify, navigate to the Dashboard or Vault section, select the Google Photos Vault, enter your passphrase, and you'll see the uploaded image. Just like before, you can download, share, publish, or delete it as per your requirement. Next, let's upload data from Google Drive. Go to the Backup section, connect with Drive, and select the files or folders you want to upload. StoreX supports various file types, including MP4 and XE files. Click on Upload, and depending on the file size, the upload time may vary. Once uploaded, navigate to the Vault section, refresh the page, and select the Google Drive Vault. Enter your passphrase, and you'll see the uploaded files. You can perform different operations like downloading, sharing, publishing, or deleting the files based on your needs. Finally, let's explore how to restore emails from your Gmail vault. Navigate to the dashboard and locate Gmail vault. Enter your passphrase, and your uploaded emails will appear. Select the email you want to restore, and the Restore button will be enabled. Click on it, re-enter your passphrase, and you'll be prompted to enter the email ID to which you want to restore the mail. You can select an existing account or add a new one. Click on Advanced, then go to StoreX, and continue. Make sure you grant access to all required services. Once access is granted, the restore process will begin. To verify the restoration, log into the Gmail account where you restored the email and search for it using the subject line. You'll see that the restore process has been successfully completed, and that's how you can restore your mails using StoreX. With StoreX, managing and protecting your data has never been easier.